Welcome guys, so I've been playing 5 fingers for more than 2 years now, and this is my updated version of 5 finger claw guide slash tutorial, in this video we will be going through the following topics. The first process is customizing your 5 finger claw layout setting, and the second process is how to hold your phone with 5 fingers. Third process is about basic settings and sensitivity settings. Fourth process is about training and practicing. And lastly some tips and tricks to learn 5 finger claw faster. Ok let's start with the first process, creating your 5 finger claw layout. There are many different kinds of 5 finger claws, but there are two basic ones, the left handed claw and right handed claw. The left-handed claw is the most commonly used among all the five-finger claw players, while the right-handed one is very rare, but also it's uncomfortable to use. And now let's talk about the layout setting. There are so many different ones, but the most commonly used five-finger claw layout would look similar to this. And I know most of you would just copy-paste the layout code, but the layout wouldn't be perfect, since every phone has a different size and resolution, so you'll need to readjust few stuff in the correct placement. However I highly encourage you to create your own layout based on your preference, it gives you a better understanding of your layout as well as confidence. But how do you create your own layout? Well for this, you can look at some of your favorite player's controls and borrow some ideas from it, and implement them into your own layout. And if you want to take a look at more claw examples to get more ideas, then join my discord server, we got over hundreds of 5 finger claw layouts, you can look at those, and create your own from borrowing some ideas from each and every layout. For example, I have seen a lot of people put their grenade cancel button behind the scope button like this, since they both don't work at the same time it saves some space in your layout similarly, you can place your scope's zoom adjusting button on the loot pickup button, and the scope adjusting button won't activate while you're looting, as it only activates when you scope in. So yeah join my discord server link is in description, we not just have 5 finger claw layouts, we also have other claw from 2 fingers to 6, so join and post your own layout if you want. Anyway now let's talk about how to hold your phone and finger placements, so every player holds their phone in a slightly different way that is comfortable, so there is no perfect way of holding the phone, you just gotta figure out the most comfortable way to hold, while having really good grip of your device. But the most common way to hold your phone, while playing 5 fingers is kinda similar to this. So I just bend my fingers in this way, and place the phone in between the fingers like this. While on the other side, you just place these two fingers behind the phone like this to provide the phone a little bit of grip from behind, and place the index finger on top like this to hold the phone for a better grip, similarly on the other side, you use the middle finger. And most importantly use your pinky finger or little finger, to prevent your phone from falling down by placing it below like this. This is the left-handed claw, for the right-handed, you just flip this off. So this is how I hold my phone, while playing five-finger claw, this may be similar for you. Anyway now let's talk about finger placement, there are few things you need to be aware of, always bend your right index finger and middle finger like this, by doing this, you can place your buttons close to the bezel which gives you more space as well as a better view to look at, it might be hard for your fingers in the beginning, but by over time it will be normal. Plus you get better viewing angles. And the next thing you need to be aware is the map placement. I know most of you would leave your map at this corner like me. This may be a problem. Sometimes your finger might block off the map view which will make you miss some critical important information. So I would highly recommend you to change your map position to somewhere around here. This would be the best position for the map. From here it doesn't get blocked by any fingers. And it doesn't block any important viewing angles. Anyway now let's move on to the basic settings, there are few things that you need to change, make sure you enable peak and fire, and disable peak and open scope, there is no point of using peak and open scope on 5 fingers. For the lean mode and scope mode, I would highly suggest you to use hold option, using tap may result in slower reflexes in my opinion, since you need to tap to activate it, and tap again in order to deactivate it, which kinda takes more time. And the next thing is to separate jump and climb, in 5 fingers jump and climb is must have. And now to the sensitivity settings, please don't change your sensitivity, whatever the sensitivity you were using now is perfect for you, whether you're a gyroscope player or non-gyroscope player, your current sensitivity that you have been using is better because you made a progress on it. If you change then you have to start everything from beginning, so I wouldn't recommend changing sensitivity settings, but however if you still want to change the sensitivity then I made a dedicated video on how to set up your sensitivity, check it out, link is in description. 
So once you're done creating your layout, you can't directly hop into classic matches and play, you'll die instantly, so this is where you have to practice your new controls, get into the training grounds. And try pressing each and every button to memorize their locations, or just practice these following drills. First drill is to learn how to scope in and fire, try shooting at multiple targets, by doing this, you will memorize your fire and scope buttons location. And the second drill is to implement crouch into the previous drill, also known as crouch and fire, this is extremely important skill to learn, because crouching will reduce recoil which makes your sprays more stable and accurate. So whether you're shooting at long range or mid range, or even in close to mid range scenarios, crouch and fire will help you. By doing this, you will memorize this crouch and fire pattern, so you will automatically implement it into your gameplay most of the time without even thinking, and practice as long as you're pressing all three buttons almost at the same time. Similarly, you also need to practice on crouching and fire example like this. This is one of the most common thing that could happen in your game, especially when you're hiding behind an object like this or when shooting from a window like this. And the next drill is peek and fire. Find any random object and a random or fixed target like this and start peeking and firing from both sides. And when doing this, you need to make sure that you're not peeking too much which exposes your body, so do the right amount of peek. You can also utilize crouch into this drill when firing at close to mid-range distance. And the next drill is jump and fire, this is one of the best way to practice jump and fire, make sure you're firing at your head level, you can check that by measuring it by your character's height like this. And start doing jump shot to every single target's example like this. Moving on to the next drill which is weapon switch, sometimes switching weapons immediately can be difficult, so that's why practicing this would help you. The concept of this drill is, shoot at a random target for a certain time and switch to your another gun and keep repeating this process until you can freely switch your guns without any misclickings. And lastly the hip fire practice, enable only the first target and 50% movement and start hip firing, while doing random movements or jiggling left and right like this. Keep practicing this until you think you're getting better. Anyway if you want more training drills check out my training routine video it's a dedicated training video, however you only need to do these training only for once to memorize each and every button locations. Once you're done with training area, the fastest way to get better or learn claw is by playing a lot of TDMs. Anyway, that's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like these, enjoy my bot gameplay, see you guys in the next one. Working through a little less They like to say we're just young But I know we won't give this up Sometimes I lose my mind And sometimes it's hard to find The reason why you stay by my side You and I break our hearts Open enough just to see if I won't put them back
the reason why